Well, hello. You guys are actually right on time. Come on in. So for today's video, I have a special treat for all of you. I will be giving you a walkthrough, tour, and review of four cabins here on board the brand new Carnival Celebration cruise ship. These cabins will include the Cove Balcony, Extended Balcony, Havana Suite, as well as another suite. Just keep in mind if you want to book any of these cabins that you see in this video or any other cabin for that matter on any other cruise ship, make sure you check out our travel agent sponsored touring plans for all your vacation and booking needs. Link in the description box below. So we will be starting off with my cabin, which is a Cove Balcony located on deck five forward aka the front of the ship keep in mind throughout this video i will be going over the price ranges for each of these cabins and suites or at least giving you a ballpark figure for each one now here we go as you can see this room here looks like any other basic balcony cabin or stateroom nothing special about it just kind of looking at it at a glance or on the surface level starting from the front to the back you do have to insert your key card here or you can also insert a credit card in order to get any kind of power to the room i know some rooms on other ships for example they will still run some power in the event that you don't have your key card here however this is not one of those rooms if you want to charge your phone while you're not in this room well you got to have something inserted this is also your power supply switches right here so if you turn this guy off this controls one set of lights and then if you turn this one off it turns off another set of lights over here you also have your temperature control box so if you want it hot or cold this is what you use and i gotta say overall this guy's been working pretty well and fast i was on another ship at one point and it was a brand new ship just like this one and the gauge would always go to as cold as possible my room felt like a giant ice box going to the closet it's nothing special it was kind of a tight fit for myself and my girlfriend lauren but we did make it work she has this side of the closet and i have the other it's just a standard closet, nothing special to see here, but there is a problem with my side of the closet. Look at this. For some reason, there is a ladder in my closet, which kind of takes up a lot of space. Now, at times I have been kind of taking it out, but at this point, just for the sake of the tour, I want to show you guys where this guy has been living, right here. Now, I'm not sure what this is for. I'm guessing it could be for the room steward if they want to pull out this other bed that is up here in case somebody's traveling and vacationing with a larger party, but still. It's either you have to take this guy out and put it somewhere or you got to deal with it. Then we have the other side of the closet, which is where I keep my bag and all that stuff. So it's nothing crazy, but it is enough room to make everything work. Looking at the bed, I will still argue that I truly believe that Carnival Cruise Lines, when it comes to the bigger cruise lines out there, has some of the most comfortable beds out there. I sleep like a baby out here, and it's been absolutely amazing. You do have a USB port here. You do have a reading light. You have a shelf down here, two of them actually, one for the remote or whatever. I just can keep in really not much over on that side. You have the main controls over there as well. That big one turns off this big light right here, and these other two will control the other smaller lights in the room the only problem i've seen with this is that whenever i'm kind of sitting on the bed like reading or something like that i accidentally turn these lights on or off and then on the other side you do have another reading light usb port and of course the other set of shelves as you can see the tv is conveniently located you also have movies if you want to just kind of chill out for the day however the selection is not super large and these movies for the most part you do have to pay for there are some free ones down at the bottom but of course all the good ones that you may want to watch well, you do have to pay an additional charge. I think they were like $5 a movie or something like that, maybe even less. You can also see what's going on on board as far as any of the events. You can check out the restaurants, you can book stuff, check out the itinerary, and you can check out your onboard charges. Moving on to the restroom, the shower and toilet, the porcelain throne. As you can see right out of the gate, it is not too big, it's not too small. It has a very standard and functional look to it. Nothing crazy going on in here at all. I'm just happy that the shower curtain is not here anymore. Carnival has decided to go with a new modern look for their newer ships. It is a sliding glass door that just kind of pulls out very effortlessly and when you come over here they do have the detachable shower head they have the line in case you want to dry some clothes off they have a little holder here for all of your soaps and shavers and everything and they have this guy here for the longest time i had no idea what that was but i guess that's for shaving you can put your leg up so you can get a, a decent angle but anyway that is your standard shower also the sink it is a decent size nothing crazy about it water pressure is good i've had heard of some people on this ship having low water pressure stuff of that nature but keep in mind this is a brand new cruise ship the lighting here overall is really good you got a shelf here you got a shelf here which is a decent size you also have additional shelving over here as well then you have the tissue paper and they have some additional tissue paper and wipes down this way as well you also have your inconvenient toilet roll holder right there i don't think anybody's going to use that one but you also have your towels right here they can always restock and bring you more as well they have additional towel holders right here and of course you do have a nice little mirror in the event that you want to poke some hairs out of your nose or something like that one last thing about the bathroom is that as long as there is power to the room this light 
never turns off. It has low light and it has high light. I don't think it's a big deal at all. Take it how you want because, I mean, at night when you are trying to come and use the bathroom and, well, you got to worry about this trip hazard here, I guess it does kind of come in your favor to have a light always on available to you. Moving on to the desk area, we do have a nice little vanity mirror. Now, that desk light is controlled through this button right over here. Unfortunately, you can't control it with a master switch or anything over there. If you happen to be laying down, forgot to turn this guy off, well, you have to get up and turn it off. But you can see it's a nice, convenient area. We do have sockets, three American sockets here, and then a set of USB ports here and here as well. They do have glasses for you in the event that you want to drink some water, and then they also have water bottles, but... Unfortunately, you would be paying $4 USD if you want to purchase these guys right over here. Also, as you go down, you do have a nice little, I guess you can call it a stool, but also this guy does serve as some extra space in the event that you have maybe some towels or some extra luggage that you want to put in here. So it has an extra little set of room for you. You also have a convenient set of drawers too. I keep all my tech and yeah, it's kind of a mess in here, but there is plenty of room for you to keep all of your stuff. And then you have this guy here. It says, welcome to your mini bar, but it's not a mini bar, it's just a refrigerator. So you can put anything in that you might need as far as maybe some water, some soda, all that stuff can go right in here. You also have your phone here. You can call the medical center. You can order room service, guest services, wake up, call. You can call the spa, whatever you need. You also have two additional shelves here and here. Across from the desk, you have this nice little couch or I guess, would you call this a futon? So this does actually turn into a bed. So you have an additional set of bedding here and you also have an additional set of bedding up here. Unfortunately for this guy here, I can't pull it out without the help of the room steward, but yeah, I've heard it's pretty convenient in the event that you're traveling with a larger party. Now, finally, let's check out the Cove balcony. Now, one difference you'll notice right out of the gate as far as the difference between a standard balcony and this guy here. Most standard balconies, usually it's a sliding glass door that goes through the entirety of the back area. This one just has kind of like a little cubby mirrored glass area and then there is a small door here but as we walk out you will see some more differences that sets this balcony apart from the other standard balconies so when you come out here you'll see that it's a little bit more like kind of enclosed and cubed sorry for the noise by the way we are currently doing a two-week transatlantic we got seven days left but the difference between this area here is that usually a cold balcony on at least on carnival ships are the lowest balconies that you can purchase as far as deck plans it also has an enclosed area right around here that is built and designed for privacy so you'll see that you have a little bit more of an enclosed area but other than that it is still like a standard balcony same size you got a table here you have two chairs over here for your convenience now a perk that a lot of passengers often get with the cove balcony is that they often purchase a cove spa balcony package which means that this area is located conveniently just one deck up and probably i want to say a couple doors down to the spa and thermal suite typically when people purchase the cove balcony they do purchase the spa package as well which allows them to conveniently and quickly walk over to the thermal suite and use it as much as they like throughout their vacation now before we continue on to the next room, I want to go over the pricing. However, first I gotta let all of you know I have no idea how to turn that back into a couch. I tried, it's ridiculously difficult. Maybe it's just some little small trick or button I gotta push. But anyway, the price for this room for two weeks, keep that in mind, was just over $4,200. I believe it was like $4,267. But like I said, this is for two weeks. This is a transatlantic. This is also the first set of passengers, including myself, to be on board this brand new ship, the Carnival Celebration. That also includes all of the gratuitous already prepaid that includes a protection plan that also includes the port taxes and fees so if you're looking at all of that you can pretty much divide that in half for a standard seven day sailing if you also pay the gratuities prior to boarding next we're gonna check out one of the Havana suites I swear when you come to this area it's like being in a whole new part of the ship Troy should be in here I actually met him on board the Carnival Mardi Gras last year and he let me see the Havana suite there as well Oh, I got the door open. They told me they were out back. So here are the Havana suites. As you can see, somewhat different from my Cove balcony. Very, very nice room. Now, the cool part about the Havana suites is that you get this nice area here. Your balcony is just a little bit different from your standard balcony. You see here, you got your nice little swing over on this area. You got seats. You got a nice little lay down area. Absolutely beautiful. You got this whole area all dedicated to the Havana Suites passengers. Oh, speaking of which, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend is Troy. Guys, make sure you say hey to him in the comments and thank you for letting me see the room. I appreciate it, Troy. Welcome, thank Jay. you. You're welcome, anytime. So now we're gonna go down to this dedicated area here. And like I said, this area is solely for the Havana Suites guests. Meaning, if you're a regular passenger, you can't come back here. 
I shouldn't either, but shh, keep the secret between us. In my previous video that I put on my other channel, Jay the Notepad, I said there was a, an infinity pool. This is it. So this pool here is dedicated only to the Havana Suites guest. Now, Troy said he did have a problem with this pool here. Well, at least for the poor souls up here on deck oh, nine. YouTubers. No YouTubers. Oh, guys, we got to get out of here quickly before we get beat up. <laughs> oh, look, there's somebody else. Hey, how's it going? I knew I was going to run into you. <laughs> How you doing? Bye. I'm going to be on this You're good. I thought you were going to be on this ship. Yep, here for two weeks. You guys got to deal with me now. Like I was saying with Troy, he says he feels bad for the... The poor souls here on deck nine because as you can see deck nine is right above this area so if people are down here hanging out what was it that you said well if you got a balcony right here above the pool or that area you can't get no freaky freaky on at night <laughs> you say nobody can get uh have some uh some some bed wrestling or should i say bal balcony wrestling out here guys oh how unfortunate well you know I'm, I'm sure some people out here may not care to be honest with you they're, they're still going to get it done i wouldn't care <laughs> you you wouldn't care i wouldn't care i'll sell tickets <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. So you're not jumping in there, Troy? Hell no, I'm not a penguin. <laughs> oh, it's too cold? Way too cold. Huh. Thank you. Well, at least we know, guys, it's not a hot tub, it's a pool. So unfortunately today, this is a one-way kind of deal with this door here. Normally you can scan your card in and you can go from the Havana bar and the Havana club on this side and just go back to your room. Unfortunately, right now you have to go all the way around. But just keep in mind, this is the first set of cruises, the inaugural sailing, so it's got some kinks that they, uh, they got to work. Kinks like this one. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Look, look, it takes a couple times, a couple tries. Yeah. Like I was saying, guys, right next to the Havana area is the Havana bar. Plenty of drinks, good times, lots of Latin dancing. Good area. I'll show you guys the bathroom real quick so you can see. So nothing too much as far as difference in my cold balcony. Same size. So the big questions. Overall, what do you think about the room? It's a nice room. Uh, it's basically the same as your regular balconies. Mm -hmm. Uh, except our balcony is a little bit different, mm -hmm. but the overall inside of the cabin is the same with just different yep. decor. But I do like the fact that when the ship is loaded with kids, mm -hmm. only 12 years old and older can book, and there's limited multiple uh. occupancy class, multiple occupancy cabins mm -hmm. in the Havana class, which limits the number of kids that are coming with mom and dad. Nice. Right, so this would primarily be like an adult area for the most part. For I'm sure the part, kids yeah. probably want they don't want to hang out here anyway. No. Oh, well, that's good to know. So as far as the difference between here and the Mardi Gras, any difference at all? Not much. No? What about very, the other classes? Little. Totally different experience than what's on the Vista class, the Vista, Horizon, and Panorama. Mm -hmm. That class of ship, they have hot tubs. This class doesn't. So you would say the Havana suites are better on the Vista class? Yes. Oh, okay. Good to know. There you have it, folks. So the cool part about the Havana suites as well is that you can get a forward-facing Havana suite. So all here is in the forward part or bow of the ship which personally for me i think is pretty cool overall now the con about this area that i've heard a lot of people complaining about is if you look over down here you'll see the crew area this is also the smoking outside area for the crew a lot of the guests that don't smoke they're saying that they can smell the smoke from down here and it's kind of coming up here obviously because we're moving forward the smoke and the smell is coming from down here and working its way up this way. So next we have the extended balcony and I do apologize in advance. Unfortunately, I don't have my microphone here. So if the sound is a little wonky, well, I'm doing the best I can. Here we have it guys, the extended balcony cabin. As you can see, it's identical to my cove balcony. The only difference really would be is this balcony. This is what sets this room apart from every other cabin on board. The balcony is just longer. The room is pretty much the standard size as every other room, every other balcony. Nothing too crazy, but you have a lot of extra room to hang out, do whatever it is that you want. I would say that I'm surprised there's not a lounger in this particular area, but either way, not bad room. Similar to my room, you have the TV here, the bed here. You have the couch that also turns into a bed in the event that you have extra passengers staying with you on board. Of course, you have all of the plug and outlets, the USB ports, and then we'll go ahead and check out the bathroom. And here she is, the bathroom, literally the exact same as my Cove balcony bathroom. The shower, everything else is exactly identical. Question of the day, by the way, this is Chuck and Christine. The other ones are very nice. To, make sure you thank them in the comments, all right? Let us check out the extended balcony room. But so this is called a Monster Del Monstera Deliciosa. Monstera Deliciosa. So, so like when it's ripe, it peels off like this really easy. So how do you eat it? You eat the, the green stuff? 
Nope, you bite that. Oh, look. But you have to wait till it's right, or else you'll end up with. It can like make you sick. Oh, it kind of looks like a banana on the inside in a way. It's got the texture of a banana, but definitely does taste like a mango and like coconut and pineapple huh. all together. So next up, we do have a suite that I want to show to all of you. Unfortunately, I talked to the passengers that let me use this room. They said they don't know the exact name. Maybe some of you in the comment can point it out and I'll pin it. But this is one of the suites on board. I don't think this is like obviously not a presidential suite or like an executive suite, but... Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot more room when you compare it and stack it up to the other rooms, the balcony cabins that we've seen so far. But I'm going to go ahead and go just straight back just to give you guys a little first person action, show you the area. So you see this does come with two TVs, one here and one here. It comes with a curtain in case you want to divide all this up. There is a con to this room according to the passengers, which I saw it. It does kind of make sense, but this comes out here. I'll show you in a minute. There's something that people don't like about this balcony that is different from all the others. So of course, being a suite, you do have a decent amount of room. You'd have two chairs, you have a table here, and you got a nice little corner area. But the problem is, if you look over here, it kind of pokes out as far as the room, and you can see directly into everybody else's cabin. So you don't really exactly have privacy, neither do the people over here. And it just kind of creates a very awkward situation. They said right now, since we are docked, there's a reflection from the water and whatnot and all of everything else that's showing up. But they said normally if they don't have any of the uh, curtains over, unfortunately you can see right into this room, this room, some of this room, and even if people are over here as far as the third balcony over, you can still just kind of see them and it can create a very awkward feel when you're just trying to kind of hang out and lean over the balcony in order to get a decent view. As we head back in, you do have the sofa that is in every other room. It does pop out to a bed in the event that you have extra people with your party. You have another lamp over here. You have a very comfortable bed. Just like the other rooms, you do have the light switches. You have the USB ports and the additional reading lights available to you off to the sides as well. You guys seen this style of closet already, so I won't open it, but you know how much space is in there. You just got a larger set of closets. That way you can store more stuff. You do have bottled water here available too. Now, this bottled water did come with the room. If you look at the, all the other cabins, like mine in particular, the Cove balcony, I don't have any water in my room. So that's just part of having the suite available to you. Of course, you have your outlets, you have your USB ports, you have your vanity mirror here as well. Let's go ahead and check out the bathroom. As we walk into the bathroom here, you notice that it is slightly wider than the other bathrooms, like my Cove balcony and the other balcony I just showed you. The shower is noticeably longer. I wouldn't say it's any more wider. However, there is definitely more space available. You do have a larger sink, but you have about the same shelf space as any other cabin on board as well as down here, it's pretty much the same overall. Give you guys one more scan, a little walk through. So this is one of the suites here on board the brand new Carnival Celebration. Now, before I give my final review, I know a lot of you are probably wondering about the prices for the other room. So the suite that I just showed you, ballpark figure for all of these, I was told about $6,000. Keep in mind, this is a two week transatlantic crossing and an inaugural sailing. This isn't the actual inaugural sailing. However, we are the first set of passengers to be on here, meaning that these ships are gonna be in high demand and well, the cost for the rooms are probably gonna be a greater price. Now also for the extended balcony it was a little bit cheaper came out about they said forty six forty seven hundred dollars keep in mind my room was about forty two hundred dollars and the Havana suite came out to around five thousand dollars now as far as a review I will say these rooms are absolutely beautiful I have a lot of respect and appreciation for them and call it what you want some of you may get mad when I say this but I do think these rooms are somewhat more stylish than the Royal Caribbean rooms available on even their newer ships now Virgin to me still tops it out I know some of you talk about the Ikea like furniture on there I hate to compare however I do sail with multiple lines, so naturally that's just what I'm gonna do, and maybe you all find that interesting, informative, and valuable as well. Now, I have asked a ton of passengers, including the passengers of the rooms I did the tours and reviews on. They told me that overall, they love the experience that they are having in their cabins and their suites. Now, there are some people that I've noticed around the ship that are saying they're having issues with the plumbing, the toilets aren't working, some of the showers have flooded, but just keep in mind, out of respect, this is a brand new crew cruise ship there are a lot of kinks to work out and there are a lot of things that are going to have to be fixed here and there i also have a little side note and this is not just my opinion it's the opinion of others as well we've noticed that the standard balcony cabins at least from what i've noticed are somewhat 
thinner than in comparison to the sister ship, the Carnival Mardi Gras. It seems to me like they may have potentially taken just a couple inches off of each balcony stateroom. You're probably asking, why would they do that? That's dumb. Well, if you shave off even three or maybe even six inches of every cabin on every deck, that does allot you more space to have three, four, maybe five, six, or seven more additional balcony cabins without anybody really paying attention or noticing. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this tour, walkthrough, and review of some of the cabins here on board the brand new Carnival Celebration. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to get direct access to me where I am guaranteed to respond to you, check out my Patreon where you can get in and early access to my videos, a bunch of perks for as low as $2 a month. Check out touring plans for all of your travel and vacation booking needs. Hit the like button on your way out and just know that I love each and every one of you. I'll see you later. Take it easy! Why does she have to yell, first of all? You're probably asking where Lauren's been the entire video. Well, she's been working and doing all this other stuff and, until she decides to come and bother me. Take it easy, guys. What was all that?